What do we have, dude? John's children. Des Desdemona. Excuse me, I have what now? We're a 1960s rock band from Leatherhead, England, that briefly featured future T-Rex frontman Mark Bolin. John's children were known for their outrageous live performances and were booted off a tour with The Who in Germany in 1967 when they upstaged the headliners. No. Was that the actual reason they were booted off? It's because they... Because they upstaged The Who? Is that is that really what's going on here, dude? Uh, yo... LS, wait, who requested Monos? Welcome, welcome. Let's put you on on the list. Feel free to send that over whenever. Uh, their 19, 7, 1967 single, Desdemona, a Bolin composition, was banned by the BBC because of the controversial lyric, Lift up your skirt and fly. I guess by 67 standards, that could be controversial, right? Uh, their U.S. record label delayed the release of their debut album, Orgasm, for four years from its recording date due to objections from Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, who is Daughters of the American Revolution? The National Society Daughters of the American Revolution is a lineage-based membership service organization for women who are directly descended from a person involved in the United States' struggle for independence. Lineage-based. Wow, what the heck. Okay. Okay, interesting. They were like, please, you must not release orgasm. Do not release orgasm. Uh, okay, well, let's just jump on into the track, dude. John's Children with the track Desdemona from 1967. Dude, that's what the Wikipedia entry said. Dude, they were kicked off the tour. But, you know, we can... We can double-check this, dude. In April 1967, The Who embarked on a tour of Germany to, provo to promote their new single, Pictures of Lily. They took with them two English mod bands as support acts, John's Children and The Action. The result was chaos. The Action consisting of Reg King on lead vocals, Alan King on lead guitar, Mike Evans on bass, and Roger Powell on drums. Dude, let me just show you what I'm reading. Uh, were a real blue-eyed soul band who, whilst they didn't achieve massive commercial success, had a massive cult following in the UK. They were the band the cool London mods followed rather than the small faces who at the time were considered a bit too pop, and with Reg King on vocals, the action had a genuinely soulful voice up front. Their tight, soul-infused live sound was quite a contrast to the chaos of John's children, whose live act seemed to thrive on infighting and aggression. John's children were only around for 18 months or so, but had a massive influence in a number of ways. They are credited with many, by many with recording the first ever psychedelic record, Smashed and Blocked. In 1966, they were also seen as the precursors to the first glam rock bands. In addition, their somewhat chaotic recorded sound and anar anarchic and theatrical live shows featuring fake blood, feathers from ripped up pillows, and infighting were a big influence of the punk scene, which came along some 10 years after. Dude. Okay, I think by this point it's pretty easy to see how they could have upstaged them, dude. Uh, you know, just with the amount of shocking things happening on stage. Uh, I'm, there's a long story we can read here. All right, actually, we were pretty close to the end. Uh, managed to book them for the Who's tour of Germany, and the band saw this as a real opportunity. The Who had a name as being the live band with a reputation for smashing their instruments and their ability to literally turn it up to 11. John's children who had been heavily influenced by The Who's live performances caused a riot at the first gig in Dusseldorf with Mark Bolin whipping his guitar with a chain. Ellison and Hewlett staging a mock fight, Townsend smashing his drums in the style of a certain Keith Moon, and Hewlett covering himself, the band, and a good part of the auditorium in feathers. 
then diving into the crowd. The following night in Ludwig Schaffen, they caused mayhem again to the point where Roger Daltrey literally couldn't sing because of all the feathers hanging in the air. The Who were not happy with the antics of John's children and kicked them off the tour. Okay, see, there's the real reason, dude. There's the real reason they seemed to be kicked off, dude. They not only upstaged them, but they also just were a nuisance. They were not fun to tour with. Uh, Pete Townsend said they were too loud and violent. Uh, in, an inter in an interesting footnote, Chris Townsend was asked to stand in for an injured Keith Moon during the Who's UK tour in June 1967. With little or no time to rehearse, he stepped right into Moon's shoes, and many in the audience didn't even notice. The new face behind the drums so good was his performance. There are two stories regarding how Moon incurred his injuries. Some say he'd hurt himself whilst smashing up his drum kit on stage, whilst others maintain he broke both legs after being thrown down the stairs of a party he was trying to get crash. What do you believe? Some of those photos from behind the stage, dude. What do y'all think of this? This is wild. Uh, okay, yeah. Finally, let's jump on into this track, dude. <laughs> like, appreciate y'all. <laughs> John's Children, Desdemona. We should definitely watch a live performance at some point. That's what they're best known for, right? quick wow okay this is like really early punk sound dude this is like really cool i like it a lot like it's it's definitely like psychedelic uh with a bit of a punk little flavor i don't know i like it a lot it's really cool i would love to see them live now what do y'all think <laughs> speak this time okay instead of fly lift up your skirt and fly 
Yeah, dude, you can't be telling people to lift up their skirts in 1967. It's too controversial. What do you think's under there, huh? Evil demons. <laughs> John's children. Wow. Their reputation. Reputation uh, precedes them, dude. We need to check out more. We need to definitely check out some live performances because that is... Uh, a very intriguing element about them. As far as their song, dude, I like it a lot. Reminds me of maybe an early version of like how the clash sounds. Uh just really cool. I'm totally down to check out more. Desdemona, Desdemona. Thank you so much, Peaceful Rain. Awesome story to go along. I'm glad that we can all learn a bit more about the people making this art, dude. It's a fantastic experience. Um, yeah, you know how people like to separate the art from the artist? I like to connect them, dude. I like to connect the human to the art. I like to learn the mind that made the art. I love to learn about the person, the persona, the character that made this always interested. So, thank you again. Peaceful rain. Yo, going over to twitch.tv slash John Slop Reacts and leave a follow if you want to catch all these live streams where we record all these reactions, dude. And going over to patreon.com slash John Slop to submit your favorite songs for me to listen to. And you can help support the channel as well. Appreciate ya.